Okay, so I am Krish, and uh, I interned last summer with a flat car Linux project, a project out of Kinvolk, now Microsoft. And I'm currently a chain guard, a securing the software supply chain. We uh, make container images with zero CVEs. So what exactly is Flatcar Container Linux? So it's a fork of CoreOS Container Linux. Uh, so it's like true CoreOS before the Red Hat acquisition. And um, why would you care about what Flatcar is, right? So it's a minimal distribution that has just what you need to run containers. And it reduces the dependencies you have on other packages, reduces your attack surface, and you have a secure immutable like file system, which is immutable, but there's a hack around that for including software that you want, or even like shipping like Docker and Container D, which is what we do. And so there's no uh, package manager, no app, no DNF. Uh, and it removes the entire category of like CVEs because you can't modify like the system partition. Also, you have automated streamlined updates, just like how Android has the AB update um, schema. We have the exact same system, and you can declaratively provision it using like ignition files. But you don't you don't have to write JSON. You can write in YAML and then transpile it. So uh, the ignition config is in JSON format. Like I said, you can declare files, systemd units, sysx images, uh, like your own, for example, because we, sh using uh, the work I did with the team, we ship like Docker and Containerd, but you can include your own Docker versions if needed, and you can, of course, configure like users um, and like keys and stuff like that. And the ignition config is applied from the initram FS. So it's the first boot flag file for Grub. And like I said, the butane config is like a much friendlier like YAML format because everything in the cloud native world has to be YAML. And um, you can get it transpiled uh, to ignition uh, through this. Just It's a very simple command, yeah. And uh, this is an example of what a butane config looks like. So uh, for instance, with systemd sysx like images, you can have your own like Docker version, and it could be the sysx like image file could be residing on my server.net, and it just downloads it and just basically stacks it on top of your base file system. So even though Flatka is immutable, systemd has this feature called system extension. It allows you to extend the file, the file system in a very declarative manner to like butane, for example, but also in a very secure manner. So for Podman Python, we already have like all of the e-bills because uh, Flatka is gender based within Flatka's like repositories. So uh, just like a quick demo, um, let's see. Say my okay. I can download this over here. It's taking a while. <laughs> okay, but let's now launch it. So Podman is a container runtime that we do not ship, but we've made it easy for you to um, 
get it using systemd sysx by simply editing this one file. So you don't have to, you could do it if you get like the Podman like static binary, you could do it the way I said through like the butane and like YAML configuration, then transpiling into ignition and then launching it through that mechanism. But to make it easier for you for Python or for Podman, you can just do this. And you can just add Podman here. That's it. Okay, I need to be root. It's really fast to boot, which is <laughs> definitely an advantage for using Flatco or another distribution. So the moment that it paused, that was because it's downloading and applying the SSX. So now we have Podman. And you can do the same with Python because a lot of like tooling that you might need, uh, like we had a few customers uh, that needed like Python on the system, but we don't want to ship Python, so you can just use systemd SSX like images and get Python. And uh, so this is first talking about a problem again. So Flatka Container Linux has a strong focus on being backwards compatible, and we want you to have a reproducible and consistent configuration that matches like a Git repository, and that's why we also ship like fixed set of like software. So like a specific Docker version, specific like container D version, right? But you might require something else. And since Flatcar ships a fixed set of like software versions, the solution we were telling customers to use is basically just run containers, right? But not everything like Docker itself or like Container D or like Python, you don't want all of that to run in containers, right? Because you might need that as part of and integrated into your OS. So, also another problem was that to run on clouds like AWS, Azure, GCP, you need like the cloud vendor tools like Azure's WA Agent. But we can't pack them all into the base files, uh, base like OS because it would that would be a lot of bloat, right? So, what we do is we let users provide custom software, so the mechanism for this is actually the SysX bakery, so uh, this is a public repository, and we publish releases of like different versions of Docker Compose, Docker, Kubernetes, and other tools, and this is not really the focus area for what I worked on. What I worked on was mainly to get cloud vendor tools as part of like, so the as part of like the update process for Flatcar, because we also then can build the system extensions that way. So um, I wrote this fun tool. Uh, so using like. Core OS, Chrome OS, Gen 2, like magic. You you don't just have to have like the static binaries of like Docker or Container D, and then put it into like a system extension image, and then you can extend the whole system. You can do it with any piece of software, but that will require you to actually build the OS and then create the system extensions. But we already do that with Docker and Container uh, Container D. So Flatka is using like this script that I wrote and all, all of the other tooling that I wrote to enable shipping Docker and Container D. And the advantage of that is actually you can just like rip out Docker and Container D, the versions that we ship, by removing the system extensions and just like add your own. So that's pretty magical, if you ask me. Um, and there is still a lot of work to be done, so we have some problems with like stability and integrity of the extensions, but there's also work that's been done, uh, done like upstream uh, with like the systemd project and the systemd sys, uh, sys update mechanism allows you to like update the extensions, but you might also want to like downgrade, right? Uh, let's see. So thinking back about the problem. So 
We have a solution that now can extend Flatka and it provides a robust update mechanism and integrates well with the base OS. So before our work on the composable images initiative, we had requests every week for people who want field to ban as part of Flatka, Podman, Incus, Carta containers, right? And we do not want to get all of this extra attack surface or increase the disk usage, right? So this mechanism allows us to address like long-standing feature requests of not just like projects like Docker that have like static binaries, but for anything really you can think about. Um, and let's uh, do an example. So with this, you can see. So this is the Flatka Podman, which is the system extension that we just loaded by modifying that file, right? But along with that, container D and um, Docker is also like Flatka like system extensions. So that enables you to do a lot of really interesting stuff. So if you look at like the Docker version we have on here. Okay. So let's get another version. Um, okay. Can you pick a version that of Docker that you want? Okay. So okay, let's use that. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> but the SysX Bakery is really cool because like uh, the mechanism that I wrote, you'd have to actually like, compile. It would take like hours. <laughs> so. Uh, this basically lets you just like put like a static binary, but it still lets you like have your own like Docker versions that you need for your projects for your work. And um, okay, let's look at this. Um, the doc should probably be updated because we no longer, we had this other alternate mechanism to like have your own like Docker versions. That was doc X that came from like the core OS project, but that's deprecated. So yeah, ignore that for now. And This should work. Um, sixty four. Uh, yeah. Makes it Yeah, I picked the wrong architecture. <laughs> and you can now. So this is transpiling it to ignition.
okay so we have this and now we can go and Okay, that's not good. Okay, live demos never work, but <laughs> basically I think one of the reasons for the conflict was because we already shipping like a Docker version as a system extension, so you'd have to, yeah, we should update the docs on this, the project should, and you basically just disable that system extension and you just like add your own from like the SysX bakery or however you want to do it. And, um, you can make PRs to Flatcar to do the same magic with Podmin that I showed by, um, let's see. So for example, for Python, we just had this community member um, use the tooling that we created and just add the ebills necessary for packaging like Python. And then uh, you can just look at this PR and just do the same for like whatever you need as part of Flatcar. Not as part of like the base OS, but as part of like just turn on this one like setting to like this config file on Flatka and you just get whatever you need. You can get like your own Python versions. You can even get like Java if you want. <laughs> you can go whatever you want. So yeah. You have any questions? No questions, anybody? Okay, then thanks to Chris. <laughs>